Today I'm racing the Leprechaun Leap 5K as my final tune-up for World Cross Country. And while this is just a local race, I'm taking it very seriously. I'm pretty nervous. I'm jittered up. I've had the nervous poops all morning. The goal today is to beat all the boys and get that outright win, while also reminding myself what the race feeling is like so that when I'm on the line against the best in the world in just a week, I'll be ready. So here I'm basically saying that this is the carb caffeine hydration portion of the morning before I get going on my race, but you know, I did something with the mic where it didn't work at all. There's no audio on this clip, so I'm not sure what I did. Hopefully it never happens again, but anyways, I was just eating some breakfast and then it was time to get ready and head to the race. Play by your rules. I break when I bend over backwards for you. If there's a way to get you to change, I won't be around anymore anyway. It starts this way. I'm so nervous. I'm pretty nervous for the leprechaun leap. You never know how fast those leprechauns will leap. I'm treating this very much like a real race, even though it is just a local one. So I'm pretty nervous. <laughs> I've had the nervous poops all morning and I'm jittered up. Gotta pee so bad. I'm gonna have to duck into the woods here. I'm not really going in the woods, I'm going right here. <laughs> you know, man, I look, I look like an old man right now. I saw about a 40 year old man in super shoes. That's gonna be my stiffest competition today. It's always the dad in super shoes that gets you, you know? I'm literally so nervous. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So nervous. Is that straight? Is it close to straight? It's fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that looks great. It's almost time to leap. I'm, I'm not gonna wear the mic during the race. I'm too nervous and I just can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it, okay? You guys are stuck with me right now, mic'd up for her race. It's gonna be really difficult to film this because they start the 10K before the 5K, so a little bit into it, and then we're gonna hit a sea of people. I gotta get ready to go. Okay, they're off. Immediately at the beginning of this race, two young boys sprinted out and took the lead, but I, you know, had to show my dominance. So I passed them and moved out to set the pace up front. Allie's doing good. She's in first place right now. And I wanted to go out pretty hard, but not do anything crazy so as to burn myself out for the rest of the race. So I was just trying to stay smooth. Looking nice and smooth. And run really strong to set myself up for a good race. And I was feeling good through the mile and pretty happy with my split. The plan was to accelerate through the rest of the race, but right around here is when it started to get really hard. 10 second lead on second and third. But the hard part is coming because the 10K is all right here now. As Spencer mentioned earlier, the 10K started five minutes before the 5K, so at this point I started to catch up to 10K runners, so I was having to do a lot of weaving between people, which was not at all their fault, and it's not a complaint, it just is a factor in the race. For the most part though, the weaving and going around people was kind of like a fun game, and it kept me entertained during the race. It's kind of fun seeing Ellie pass every single person in the 10K, which started five minutes ago. I also didn't have to slow down or change my stride very much, there were a couple times where I got a little bit cut off coming up hey. but any major disasters were averted unfortunately though the traffic did get too bad for Spence to continue filming well this might be the end for me so Spence filmed for the first 1.6 K of this race and then I was on my own for the middle section this is what Allie is gonna have to run through on the way back guys so whatever time she runs maybe we subtract or have a little conversion the middle mile of this race was definitely the hardest part even though Spence wasn't there to film you can clearly see that in my data because in this race like all my other 
training, I was wearing my Koros watch and arm heart rate monitor. And as you can see on this course map, there were two very sharp turns in the race, which are reflected in my pace data. As you can see, my pace drastically dropped when I had to make those turns, and I didn't quite recover in between because it was only about a minute until the 180 degree turn at the halfway. Even though I slowed down, my heart rate did not recover because the combination of the sharpness of the turns and the amount of people I was weaving around made it so difficult to keep that pace. Once I got through that section in suspense, I was so relieved. Go, Ellie! I knew I had it in my legs to go faster for this last mile after a kind of slow middle mile, so once I got to this straight stretch, I started to stride out, and you can see that my pace finally recovered back to what it had been, and I was going pretty fast heading towards the finish. Thanks to Koros for sponsoring this video and providing all the data. I was trying to stride out and finish with my fastest mile of the day. She's flying. She is absolutely flying. I definitely felt strong here, but was having a little bit of trouble pushing myself to get into that next gear, the gear that I would usually save for a race, which I wanted to get to today, but due to not really having anyone around me to push me, I couldn't quite get to that level. But I still worked really hard and pushed myself to make this last mile my fastest mile of the day. I ended up finishing strong and my last point one was actually five minute pace, so it was a good fast finish. I think she ran uh, 21.40. Not bad. 16, 16, not bad. not bad, you know. I was like hoping for a bit faster, but honestly like it was a good hard effort. I didn't have anyone close to me, so I wasn't pushed to that next level, but it was good, definitely. I went hard from the start. The middle mile was really hard because there were three 180 degree turns and just a ton of runners that I had to weave around. But yeah, first and last mile were good. I felt pretty smooth out there. And you know, the goal was to get an effort in and I feel like I did that. Hey. After the race, it was super fun talking to some of the other competitors and meeting subscribers. As always, I really appreciate your support and I am so, so excited to compete at Worlds. Thank you so much for following along through my whole buildup and I can't wait to share that experience with you all.